So you've clicked on a video about plastic bags. Why should you care about that? Good question. Not because of this guy. You want to see the most beautiful thing I've ever filmed? But because states like Hawaii have completely banned them in stores. Italy has a strict ban, California is considering one now, and places like Washington DC have had a lot of success with a bag tax. The age old paper or plastic question has become more of a paper or your hands question. So why? 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 What's so bad about plastic bags? And how is this guy taking the news? I'm Devin Green and I'll be answering that question on Green Screen. Okay, first, some perspective. Plastic bags, which we're all talking about nowadays, only constitute a fraction of overall waste. They're just the tip of a giant filth iceberg. Still, for a tip, they have some qualities that make them really dangerous, especially when they get in the ocean. They take decades, even centuries to degrade. So almost every single piece of plastic we've ever put in the ocean is still in there in one form or the other. Little tiny pieces of poison. That's why we have a giant Texas-sized plastic soup in the middle of the Pacific Ocean right now called the Pacific Garbage Vortex. Awesome name terrible implications. When that plastic finally does degrade, it releases harmful chemicals. Now, according to the book Plastic Pollution, the two most common chemicals are BPA and polystyrene. You've probably heard the name BPA before if you've ever listened to Dr. Oz or your mom. It's a big deal. Fish populations swallow, breathe those chemicals, and then consumers of those fish get them in trace amounts. Taken together, BPA and polystyrene are carcinogenic, and they increase the sex hormone estrogen. If you're a growing boy like me, you know what that means, man boobs. Equally bad are the thousands of sea turtles, fish, and birds that are dying because of all the plastic accumulating in their stomachs. That's not fun to look at. Luckily, there are a few other options besides an outright ban like Hawaii's done. In our nation's capital, Washington DC, we instituted a five cent bag tax, forcing patrons to make a tiny micro deposit every time someone chooses plastic. It had a measurable effect. Planet Forward contributors Tim Palmieri and Megan Varner, who wrote a piece about the tax for Planet Forward, cite a study showing that residents are using 50% fewer plastic bags since the tax went into effect. Still, this is America. And a tax isn't that much better than a ban for most Americans. Where's the option that asks absolutely nothing of individual consumers? Can't we just give the ocean liposuction or something? Like we do with that other issue that's a lot like this issue? The answer is sort of, surprisingly. I give you the Doogie Hauser boy genius method. Boy and slat. A millennial with a bunch of bright ideas made headlines with his innovative technique for using ocean currents to collect trash. He claims his method could cut the Pacific garbage vortex in half in just 10 years with minimal costs. But then of course the garbage would have to be buried for a few hundred years or undergo a really expensive recycling process. And like liposuction, it doesn't do anything to address tomorrow's trash. So what do you think? Prohibition, taxation, boy genius method, or all three. What's gonna help us address this problem? Let us know in the comments or contribute your own idea to planetforward.org. Our next episode will be about high speed rail.